Let's go to Glenn Research Center in Ohio. Hi, my name is Ryan Reed. I teach uh, engineering at Northview High School in Sylvania, Ohio. Uh, I just had a question uh, concerning the advice that you would give students across the nation and how they could possibly get involved in this program this year uh, for tomorrow and then possibly in future years. I think there, so a couple things. One is, uh, the key thing is to keep focused on math and science. That's your best opportunity for these kind of jobs, right? A lot of engineering jobs are driven by that. Um, the uh, NASA, I think, is doing a, a very good job these days of getting links out and descriptions of the work that we're doing every day. So as teachers, you can, uh, you can go to those links, you can sh see videos, you can see examples of the work that we're doing to get kids excited about it. Um, NASA has done a really good job also on this flight of having some um, what I would call uh, outreach events like we had, a, we had a competition. You might have met these kids already. We had a competition uh, to design a radiation sensor for this flight. Uh, it was across the country. There was five teams chosen. We picked the winner a few months ago when they were actually flying their experiment. So uh, look for those kind of things. NASA's trying to do more and more of those things to make a connection with the schools uh, and get kids excited. I take a question now from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Hi, my name is Laura Spencer. I'm in education from San Diego. My question is, with all of these satellite locations of NASA social participants, how has the actual um, satellite location helped contribute to Orion's launch tomorrow? In other words, what did Jet Propulsion Laboratory contribute to Orion's launch in the morning? Question. Uh, there's one key part that uh, there's a communication network across this country that involves include, including the satellites in geostationary orbit, the TDR satellites but as well as ground, sat, ground, uh, ground coverage areas and then all the, the lines and, and systems that tie all our pieces together because we have people here uh, at, at, in the ONC that will be like our engineering experts. There's people in uh, a hangar across the way on the Air Force side. There's people at JSC who are gonna do contingency commands if necessary. There's people in Denver supporting if there's issues. So you gotta tie all those people together uh, to get that telemetry, the data.